everyone, Zori Mori here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a unboxing and try on video. I'm gonna show you my favorite pieces I got during my Paris trip. If you've missed my vlogs going around the stores and trying things on, I'm gonna link them in the description box below. And while you're there, you're gonna find a few other links. One to my Facebook group on there. I share discount codes, sale alerts, restock alerts, new collection gossip, and brands I think you're gonna enjoy if you like my Cezanne content. I hope you join us on there. And my Instagram accounts. I have one dedicated to travel and one to personal style. If you're active on any of those platforms, please stop by and say hi. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Now let's get into today's video. Many of you have been waiting for the color reveal of the two Poulain bags that I got. Thank you for your patience. This beauty here is the Poulain numero 1 size nano. Color is sandalwood. The best way to describe it is a very rich deep tone of brown with a red undertone. You have a gold logo here gold hardware everywhere around the bag a magnetic closure opens like this the top here is cinched with two tic tac buttons you can open them and that will allow you uh, much quicker access inside the bag because when these are closed it is hard to squeeze your hand in you have one little pocket at the back you also have like a very little pocket over here. It's perfect for a transportation card or an ID, something that you want to have quick access to. I love this design. It's really recognizable. When you see it, you know it's Poulain. At the same time, it's very minimal, beautiful. And I love that it's pebbled leather. It's perfect for every day. It doesn't really show much signs of wear like no scratches the strap you can wear it on one shoulder or my preferred way crossbody the next bag that i got from poulain is the numero 8 mini this is their signature bucket bag the color is called blush you probably have seen the black version of this bag in my content that bag belongs to a friend of mine and i borrowed it so many times that it was clear to me that i wanted to add one to my collection. The leather feels really nice. It's a drawstring enclosure and you have the top handle that I think will prevent people like if you're worried that maybe pickpockets can reach in. I think between the tight enclosure and the top handle it will be very hard for someone to reach in without you realizing it. You can wear it on one shoulder or crossbody and you can expect a video dedicated to my pull and back collection coming up this month next i have the anjali cardigan size extra extra small which is my usual size from the brand i adore this design it's quite essentially Cezanne in a nutshell it's why i fell in love with the brand i love the feminine romantic detailing the color it's a light beige it doesn't swing warm or cold which i really really enjoy and i can't wait to see what other colors this cardigan will be released in because let's face it this design is too beautiful for Cezanne to only release one color these are Cezanne's Misha mid boots in the color peony when I saw them in the store, I guessed I somehow missed them online. I quickly checked in the app and I saw that they were sold out in all sizes. So I thought getting them at the store is my only chance apart from checking restocks three times a week. I'm really happy with my decision. I think they will be great for spring with skirts and dresses. I really love that the design kind of hugs your ankle without being too tight. I like the color of the zipper that's very close to the color of the boot. The heel is a little bit taller than what I usually wear but I think it makes your legs look fantastic so I had to get them. I avoid getting shoes when I travel because they take so much space but the Misha were totally totally worth it. And then because I really like matching my accessories I got the Telma belt in the size 75 color peony. It is a little bit lighter shade than the boots. If I put them side by side, you can see 
the belt is lighter but I think when I combine them together for a spring outfit with a dress or a skirt it will be so so cute I went with size 75 because it allows me to wear it high-waisted with a dress or a little bit lower with a pair of pants or a skirt this classic mariner sweater in 100% merino wool was on my shopping list even before i made it to paris it's from comptoir des cotonniers when i was in paris in the spring i got the same design in wine red and white i wore it a ton i love it i know that this is a design they have pretty much every season in different colors so i knew i wanted to go back for a navy and white i got size small because I wanted this to fit me a little bit looser than the red version that I have. That one is extra small. It also fits really well, but for this I wanted more of a looser boyfriend fit. I think maybe I'll make it a tradition every time I go to Paris, I snag one of these in a different color because, I mean, you can see I am a fan. This jacket here is from a brand that's new to me. It's called Cereless. I got the size 38, which is a size bigger than what I usually get from European brands. I'm usually a pretty solid 36. I got 38 because I liked a slightly oversized look. I figured I'm gonna probably wear this with sweaters, so I didn't want to feel too restrained. I found the brand in Strasbourg. I saw this jacket on the window, so that, that's what drew me in, which shows the importance of dressing your store windows really well once in i was really impressed this brand has notes of classic british style mixed with french elegance great pieces they use liberty fabrics for some of their cotton blouses and they are specializing i think in kids clothing because the kids section was ginormous and they had adorable adorable clothes so if you have kids that's yet another reason to check them out. I will definitely be following them from now on. All right, everyone, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of today's video, which pieces were your favorite. Don't forget to join me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description box below. If you enjoyed watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.